Hi, I'm John. Welcome back to the Contemplative Commuter. So, today's thought, I watched Avengers Endgame at the weekend. Uh, really good film, but my God, is it long at just over three hours. Uh, and also, you've got to have invested uh, 10 years of Marvel film um, history in order to kind of get what's going on. Um, and it got me harking back to films from my childhood. So I'm a child of the 80s that had a shorter running time and weren't franchise dependent. So I'm going to give you my top five 80s films. They're not the most critically acclaimed. Spoiler alert, E.T. isn't in there. No Indiana Jones films, no Star Wars films. They're just based on how many times I watched them um, over the last kind of 30 years and how they all make me feel, which is kind of whenever I um, either stream them or pop them in the Blu-ray player, uh, it's like an old friend giving you a hug. So they uh, also encompass five key areas of a horror, a sci-fi film, a fantasy film, a teen brat pack, film and something family friendly as well. So to kick us off I'm going to go for the horror. My favourite horror, this was tough because I was thinking of potentially Poltergeist or The Shining but I have gone for An American Werewolf in London. Um, special effects I think still hold up on that film and it was a, a horror comedy way before Shaun of the Dead but it is worth it alone just to hear Brian Glover shout, that's enough, that's enough. But yeah, American Werewolf in London, absolutely love it. Uh, give it a go. Next one up, so this is the uh, fantasy film. There can be only one, and it's Highlander. So this, there should have only been one. Uh, this is before... Uh, people really thought through a franchise and this is a lovely standalone film and they should have only made one Highlander and left it there. Again, it's just such a great film. Me and my friends used to watch this, quoted at school over and over again. Uh, really bizarre in that you've got a French man playing a Scottish um, clansman and then a Scottish man playing an Egyptian, which kind of sounds confusing, but it makes sense. And uh, yeah, it's always fun to see people chop each other's heads off. Next up, so this is the Team Brat Pack film, um, Lost Boys, an amazing film. The pacing in this movie is absolutely fantastic. And what I love about it as well is there's no backstory. So modern films always feel the need to flesh out every character's backstory. There is no explanation around how the Lost Boys became vampires, um, what their relationship to the head vampire, spoiler, Max, uh, was about. It just got absolutely fantastic pacing. And that was kind of a common theme of all films throughout the 80s. And that brings me on to the family-friendly selection, Back to the Future. Obviously, Back to the Future spawned a couple of sequels, but the original is the best. I do say family-friendly, even though it's got a very weird undertone of incest, which I think these days would probably have been edited out of the film at the uh, storyboard point. Uh, and this brings me on to my favourite film of the 80s and my favourite film of all time and it's the sci-fi recommendation and it's Robocop. This for me is absolutely the ultimate film of all time. You can enjoy it just as a pure sci-fi action um, thriller about a policeman being made into a cyborg and then shooting rapists in the balls, which is always fun. Um, or you can go down the route of uh, that it's actually a Christ analogy um, and uh, get very deep into the philosophical meaning of Robocop. But I would just enjoy it as it is. It is the best sci-fi film, my favourite film of all time. I've seen it a, a worryingly amount of times, probably a hundred plus now. I can do the whole script 
by row, off heart, but I absolutely love it. So those are my top five films of the 80s. I'd love it if you could uh, comment below on have I got it right, have I got it wrong, what have I missed out, and um, I'll join you all soon with another upload.